Okay, I'm Mrs. Thorne. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, looks fantastic on you, by the way. All right, all right. We walk out. Mm -hmm. We stop. I forgot the tickets. We look for the tickets. I must have left them upstairs. I walk back to the elevator. I press P, penthouse, the door is closed. The scarf gets caught. Maybe somebody was hiding up there. Well, that's possible. But Mrs. Thorne was yelling about the scarf, not, not about some attacker. Yeah. So she's alone. She presses her thumb. What are you doing, huh? Do you think this is funny? I mean, you, you, you rifle through my pockets and you make a mockery of me like this? I just buried my wife. We are not mocking you, Mr. Thorne. We are trying an experiment. I could have you arrested, and I'm going to. Are you okay? Do you need some water? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. What? Question for me? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm on my way to a board meeting. I'm already late. Wait, wait, wait a minute. One, one minute. Did I do something to offend you, sir? I mean, why don't you let this thing go? What happened to my wife was an accident. Ten witnesses saw her get onto the elevator alone. When it stopped, she was dead. They said that. They said. They said your wife was screaming for help, and that she called your name. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I, I will never forget that moment. But just now, I was being strangled by the scarf, like your wife. I couldn't yell anything. I, I couldn't even breathe. How do you explain that, sir? I can't explain it. Can you? I loved my wife, Mr. Monk. As much as you love Terry Talenko? Yeah, I know you talked to Terry. Virtue was not one of my virtues, and uh, Cheryl knew that. Uh, she accepted it, and you know she realized that being married to Daniel Thorne in this town had other compensations. Now you, you don't have any idea who you're dealing with, do you? Come here, let, let me show you something. The local rag put this picture on the front page. Now, I asked them not to publish it, and they ignored me, so yesterday morning, I bought controlling interest in that company so I could personally fire that son of a bitch editor and the photographer and the publisher. Now, you understand? Now, that's who you're dealing with. I own this town. Now, Miss Teeger, you worked at the Bellagio. All right, so you've done your homework. Yeah, so why don't you tell your friend what the first rule of Vegas is, the golden rule, the only rule? The house always wins. Always. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle.